Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to make some breakfast. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button if you enjoy this video and leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite breakfast food is. If you like breakfast, it's my favorite meal of the day. We are gonna start out by making some biscuits and gravy. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is brown some sausage. Um, it's just plain grocery store sausage. I have one pound in the, in the pan. And then I, once I get that browned, I add one tablespoon of cornstarch and two, nope, three tablespoons of flour. You can use all flour, but I find that you get a slightly better result if you use the cornstarch. Um, then I'm gonna add three cups of milk. I usually start with three and then add to it as needed. Um, sometimes four is a little bit too much just kind of depends on the day so I started with three cups and then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt pepper and garlic um, I end up adding a little bit more towards the end I'm simply measuring this only for viewing purposes the secret to your food tasting good if you haven't heard my spiel in other videos is tasting your food that you cannot make good, I mean, you can, I guess. I guess you can make good food without tasting it. However, your food is going to taste best if you taste it. If you know what your food tastes like, if you're tasting it and making sure there's a proper amount of salt, pepper, garlic, whatever other seasonings you happen to be putting in your food, that is whenever it's going to taste the best. So, taste your food. Um, if you like things less salty, more salty, more garlicky, less garlicky, extra peppery, add that so um, I've added the seasonings I'm cooking this down um, and eventually it will get nice and thick I tasted my sauce my sauce my gravy and it was not peppery enough uh, so I added another table nope not tablespoon teaspoon of pepper and that's the only other seasoning I added and then I'm slowly adding about a half a cup at a time until I get the right consistency um so i'm just gonna keep cooking it until i hit the right consistency once the biscuits are done and the gravy's done i serve it um this is probably one of my personal favorite breakfasts closely following closely behind eggs benedict that's my number one favorite breakfast i did not eat it much growing up as a child and it was one of my favorite things to eat now so anyways next up we are going to make french toast do I usually make a recipe for this? No, I just make sure it looks right. Um, but I am trying to make a recipe for you because I'm nice, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, so um, what I did here was I um, had started with two eggs. I ended up adding a third egg in later, and then I put two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon. I know that's just one right there, but I'm going to add another one. And then I add a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and then a whole cup of milk. And I whisk that all together. Like I said, I end up adding another egg and I end up adding another teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix that all up really good. And yeah, you probably should use a better quality bread than what I'm using, but this is what we have. And I felt like having French toast and I wasn't gonna to go to the store and buy different bread to make French toast. So I am using some Sara Lee, uh, something like 45 calorie bread. Use, you can use whatever you have on hand or you can go buy like the fancy, what is the, is it hollow bread or something that you're supposed to use? I don't know, some kind of like heavy eggy bread. Well, my mom likes to use the, I think it's Sara Lee Artist artisan bread or something um i know a lot of people like to use like texas toast i just use whatever's in my fridge or freezer or on my counter whatever we have available that's what i'm using um i it tastes just fine to me so anyway so that's what we're using today i'm just going to grease my pan and then dip the pieces of bread in the mixture throw it on the pan i think this made like i don't know 18 slices of bread or maybe most of this one loaf, I don't know. 
Um, and I just cook them until they're browned on one side and then I flip them and cook them until they're browned on the other side. And then you have some French toast and it's freaking delicious. Um, yeah. So one of my favorite, one of my favorite, this is, this is not something I make a lot. It's something that we do make on occasion. We don't frequently eat sweet breakfast just cause I'm more of like a eggs and biscuits and gravy and bacon kind of person. So is my husband, but we do occasionally make stuff like waffles and French toast and pancakes and such. All right, last up, we are going to make my overnight French toast bake. Um, this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite things to make for like a brunch. Um, so a lot of brunches, I try to make like a sweet dish and a savory dish. So we usually have some kind of like breakfast casserole. And then usually I make this just because it's easy and you can make it the night before and then just bake it the day of. Um, you don't have to let it sit overnight, but you can, which is nice. So, um, the first thing that you need is one loaf of French bread. It is better if you let it sit out and get stale. Um, that, that is not the case with this one. I just went to the store and bought it. A lot of times if I'm, you know, feeling really, uh, I don't know what the word is. I don't know. Anyways, if I'm feeling like I want to do this more appropriately, I will throw the bread cubes into the oven on a sheet pan just to kind of dry them out a little bit so that they are um, a little more stale. Um, I did not do that today. I didn't feel like it. So anyways, um, then I'm going to add eight large eggs one cup of whole milk and one cup of happy whipping cream you can use all milk if you want i've totally done that before you do get a better like more like creamy custardy consistency if you use heavy whipping cream but you could use half and half if you wanted you could use all milk i don't i would not recommend using all heavy whipping cream i've actually not done that but i feel like it would taste weird <laughs> so anyways um you you just add your dairy let's just say that and then um you will add a half a cup of brown sugar a quarter cup of white sugar a tablespoon of vanilla a tablespoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of salt i am actually out of brown sugar whenever i'm recording this so i just use all white sugar and you don't get that same richness that you would normally get with brown sugar. That molasses in the brown sugar really gives it like a, a richness that you can't get by just using white sugar, but it tastes fine with just the white sugar. So don't freak out. If you don't have brown sugar on hand whenever you're making it, you can just use white sugar, even on the streusel. I, I make the streusel, I just use white sugar. It's fine. It's not, it's not the end of the world, but technically you are supposed to use brown sugar. And then I'm going to dump that custardy mixture over the top of the bread. And I'm going to make sure that every single piece of bread is wet um, because it's supposed to be. <laughs> Anyways, and then I'm going to throw together the streusel topping. The streusel topping is a half cup of butter, which is one stick, a half cup of brown sugar. Like I said, all I have is white sugar, a half cup of flour one teaspoon of cinnamon and a little bit of salt and just mix those together with a fork until they're well combined and then you just sprinkle it over the top of the um your bread like i said this is intended to be an overnight um french toast recipe so you can make it the night before and then get up early and throw it in the throw it in the refrigerator <laughs> throw it in the oven and um, bake it that way it's ready to go and you don't have to do any of this prep however you do not have to it tastes just fine if you just go put it straight in the oven after you get the streusel plopped on the top um you can leave off the streusel topping if you don't want to add any extra sugar to it but you're already eating french toast bake just give yourself this little gift of eating something delicious 
and let it be what it is. You're already eating a sweet breakfast. Just put the streusel topping on. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your week and I'll catch you next time. Bye y'all.